Today on the show, we conclude our made-to-order series with a look at Fox Shocks. Matthew St. Pierre investigates the essence of Porsche, and I safety wire Amy Zoke's bike. Welcome to the Auto 123 Show. I'm Donna Mailing Park, or at least I was the last time I checked. Now let's get the show on the road by first swinging by the studio, pulling into the pit stop, catching up with Matthew St. Pierre, and fueling you up on the most interesting news. If you're like most everyone else, you'll opt to pretend to know what people are talking about before you admit that you have no idea what's going on. Here's a scenario. When the techie geeks at our office start discussing front side bus, uh, GE Forest 320M graphics, 64-bit uh, data paths and registers, yes, I did have to read that off the teleprompter, I'm more confused than when trying to decipher parking signs in Toronto. But obviously I smile and nod with everyone else because there's nothing else I can do. Now, this edition of the Pit Stop will address automotive terms that you're probably familiar with, but I've never fully understood or only ever had an inkling as to their meaning. So without further ado, here we go. Torque steer. This is the uneven distribution of engine power to the front, that is front wheels. When accelerating from a standstill, the steering wheel will tug to one side or the other. So the next time your buddy complains about torque steer on his Mustang, you'll know that he has no idea what he's talking about. Camber. This is the vertical angle of the tires on your car. Now if the top is pushed in, that's negative camber. If the bottoms are pushed in, that's positive camber. Now here's an example. Drift cars use tons of negative camber to help maintain contact between the tarmac and the largest possible portion of the tire's tread for more control. So think about it, drift car, control, anyhow. And while no, your Toyota Corolla does not need that much camber. Turning radius, also known as turning circle. This is the distance traveled by the car when the steering is at full lock. Now picture yourself pulling an illegal U-turn. Now you really want to get through it as fast as possible, so the shorter the radius, the quicker it's over, and the fewer chances you will have for getting a ticket. Heel toe. This is one of my personal favorites. This is used to match engine revs with transmission revs. The right foot operates both the throttle and brake pedal, while the left foot is dealing with the clutch pedal for a smooth downshift. Now this is especially useful in performance driving. And here's a little tip. Maybe, you know, if you want to pick up this technique and you want to try and see if you can work it out, I would suggest you practice in safe conditions, uh, say on a deserted country road, because let's just say you give it a little bit too much gas and not enough brake, you might end up parking yourself in someone's rear. Just a thought. Okay, it's obvious that you knew about all these. I mean, uh, you know, you're a car guy, you're a car girl, you love cars, you know all, all about these. But there are probably tons more that say, well, I don't know, your wife or maybe your boyfriend or son or daughter would like to know more about. How about you jump on our Facebook page and post these terms that you would like explained either on the show in the near future or right there on the page. So what are you waiting for? Go right ahead. Don't be shy. <laughs> 